Extreme Performance Summer Tires are designed for drivers looking for a street tire that can give the ultimate level of dry traction and handling. Ride comfort out on the road, wet traction and tread life all take a back seat to the number one priority of massive levels of dry grip. Whether you like to take your car out on the back road and let it stretch its legs, do a lapping day at the track, or even compete in autocross or a chump car race, Extreme Performance Summer Tires are the single best bolt-on accessory for your car to give you a performance upgrade in handling. All of today's Extreme Performance Summer Tires really owe their start to the old BF Goodrich G-Force TAKD. And back in 1998 when this tire debuted, it really showed us the future of performance street tires. For a long time, they were the only tire in the Extreme Performance Summer category. But it was only a matter of time before the rest of the world caught up. Well, BF Goodrich has re-established themselves in the Extreme Performance Summer category with the new G-Force Rival, but they're not the only new tire to test. Bridgestone has the second generation Potenza RE11A with a new tread compound designed to improve traction and lower lap times. Dunlop has imported the clean sheet design Dereza Z2, and Yokohama has tuned up their Extreme Performance Summer tire with the now Advan Niova ADA 08R. We wanted to see how they do on the track and out on the road. Let's go see how they drive. First up, we're driving on the Bridgestone Potenza RE11A. Here on the dry track, this tire is relatively easy to drive, although it's not quite as responsive as the other tires in the group. It does seem to tolerate big inputs well, and is relatively controllable when you chuck the car around. And in the wet, this tire is easy to control at the limit, with just a little less ultimate grip than the Yokohama Advan AD08R. Out here on the road, the Potenza RE11A rides the best of the group. You won't mistake it for a max performance or an ultra high performance summer tire, but among the extreme performance tires in our test, this one rides the best. It also handles well with a nice weighted feel in the steering. Well, now I'm in the car with the BF Goodrich G-Force Rival tires. This tire isn't quite the fastest on the track for us, but it sure is well liked by our team because of its controllability. It's easy to drive, and relatively tolerant when you get to or go just beyond the limit. And in the wet, the G-Force Rival has reasonable traction, but the limit comes a bit more abruptly and takes a little longer to recover once a slide or wheel spin happens. The aggressive, blocky-looking tread pattern of this tire produces minimal tread noise out here on the road, and our team really liked the balanced steering feel and the cornering stability. And now we're driving on the Dunlop Dereza Z2. If you look only at dry lap times, well, this tire wins. I mean, it's a scalpel here on the track with very precise steering and crisp handling. And in the wet, this tire has its trademark quick steering response, but it just doesn't have the ultimate grip or composure at the limit of the Yokohama and Bridgestone tires. Just like it did on the track, the Dereza Z2 has the most responsive and precise steering feel of the group, which is the good news. The bad news, it brings with it a bit firmer ride quality than the others, and also, this, the tread pattern of this tire produces a bit more tread noise than the others, really, at any speed over 20 miles an hour. Now I've hopped in the car with the Yokohama Advan Niova AD08R. Here on the track, this tire is just one small step away from being really good at everything. It's almost as fast as the Dunlop Dereza Z2, with very capable and precise handling. And in the wet, this tire leads the group with the fastest lap time and best controllability of all the tires in our test. Here on the road, this tire rounds out the group with predictable handling and a nice steering feel. Ride quality is pretty good too, especially over the smaller bumps, but when it comes to the bigger impacts, this one gets a little bit firmer. To describe something as extreme suggests the utmost degree of excessiveness, but can you really have too much of a good thing? Bolting any one of these extreme performance summer tires on your car will give you the single best upgrade to your car's handling. The Bridgestone Potenza RE11A delivers civilized road manners and very good track handling, especially in the wet. The BF Goodrich G-Force Rival helps re-establish BFG in the extreme performance category with impressive dry handling. The Yokohama Advan Niova AD08R is equally impressive with a very strong combination of dry and wet traction. The Dunlop Dereza Z2 is fast on the track with very responsive handling and excellent traction, but trades off some road manners to get there. As we test tires side by side, we find it's not as simple as choosing between good and bad. Each tire has its own personality. So as you view our test results, it's important to focus on your priorities and what fits best with how, where, and what you drive. And be sure to go to TireRack.com for our complete test report and to learn more about the tires featured in this test.